five, four, three, two, one, release the fire! Okay. Hey! 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 Welcome to Flight Test, I'm Josh. And I'm David. We have a really cool project ahead of us. If you guys remember a couple episodes back, we built a huge 16 foot twin motor legacy and we flew it and had a lot of fun. Right, um, so we've been dreaming big and we wanted to drop some airplanes from it. Yeah, the whole purpose of the Megalacy was to drop things from it, make it a real workhorse. We've never dropped two airplanes from one plane before in our lives. Yep, so I'm gonna get to work on uh, 3D printing some drop mechanisms, yep. and um, I've also got a flurkin to get out of a tree. Yeah, while he's trying to figure out how to get the flurkin out of a really tall tree, I'm gonna build another airplane. We got work to do. Let's do it. Okay, so um, I'm making the uh, drop mechanism for the flurkin. The biggest issue we have is the Megalacy only has six channels on the receiver, and we're using all six of them to fly the airplane. So we're gonna have to make the uh, drop mechanism actually in the flurkin. To do so, we're going to 3D print some uh, pegs that are sticking out of the flurkin that just slip into holes that are attached to the Megalacy, and it'll be controlled by a servo on the flurkin that just simply um, turns down and it'll pop off. All right, let's draw this up and get it printing. So we're gonna go try to uh, rescue a flurkin out of the tree real quick. We have our fancy air cannon here. Let's see what we can uh, go do. So Dave, what's the game plan? Um, we're gonna try to just shoot it out. I don't know how well this is gonna work. Uh, where did it even go? Oh, it's still up. Man, I don't even know if this will reach it. Okay. Um, I don't even know the best place to try. <laughs> Ready? <laughs> that was horrible. <laughs> that wasn't even close. <laughs> this is the next video is going to be 45 minutes of collecting leaves and trying to launch bottles at the <laughs> tree. <laughs> Uncut. <laughs> Uncut. <laughs> oh, stupid stick. Eventually there will be no sticks in this tree and we will get it down. Uh, how, how long do you think it would take to cut through the tree? Um, well, there's a... Is it worth an air unit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Let's do it. Ready? Yep. What? I give up. We're done. We're done. <laughs> that is not working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not done. <laughs> So Dave, what's the plan? All right, so my fork is still in a tree. We can't get it out. We've tried, tried, tried. We made another one. We've got to paint it up and get it ready for our next video. I think I'm going to make it the exact same as the old one, just add a couple little different touches to let people know it is a different one. <laughs> <laughs> While Dave is on a mission to get his flurkin out of the tree, I want to share a little bit about our partner for this video, and that's Decked. Decked has been a partner with Flight Test for a long time, and we absolutely love their two-drawer system. Now, with our truck, we have to load it up a lot of times with FPV gear, batteries, sometimes even things like chainsaws to cut down trees that have flurkins in it. The nice thing about this deck system is not only is our gear secure when the tailgate's locked, but it also has a 200 pound capacity per drawer. That means we can load this thing up with anything we can fit in there. Along with that, the top deck doesn't compromise in strength. Over 2,000 pounds, so that means if I have to throw a sack creek concrete for any crazy projects around Edgewater, I can easily do so. Now, if you guys know me, you know I have a little bit of a problem with organization. The deck system also has extra things like toolboxes and organizers that can go in your drawer so everything is right in its place. And you never have to crawl in your truck again. All you simply need to do is slide the drawer out, grab what you need to do, and slide it back in. I got bad knees from a background in bodywork. That's a big plus for me. 
Now, if you guys know Flight Test, we love American made. We're proud to be American made with all the kits that we manufacture just 700 feet away from this building. Decked has the same passion for us. Not only are they 100% American made, they also back their product with a 100% lifetime warranty, and they also have top-notch world-class customer service. Now, we would never celebrate something that we are not proud of. Deck system is amazing. We've been using it for well over a year. It's been holding up great. Now we know that not everyone has a pickup truck, but if you have a pickup truck and you're like me and you need that extra organization and security in your life, please check out the deck system and also get free shipping by going to deck.com slash flight test. Now we gotta go check and see what Dave is doing to get this flurkin out of the tree because we really need that gear. I just can't hit it with the bullet because it's in such a tricky spot. The sticks keep hitting it and stuff. So uh, yeah, we're gonna try using the paramotor with uh, just the air and see if we can knock it down that way. <laughs> Wes is uh, gracefully, in, uh, what do you want to call it? He, he volunteered his services and his paramotors. So yeah, let's see what we can do. It's cold. <laughs> it's too cold. <laughs> I rode this thing all the way up here. I'm like, dude, this is too cold. Do you got the fan blowing behind you and the wind? Clear pop. <laughs> <laughs> It's wiggling all the branches around it. <laughs> well, of course it's not getting it. <laughs> Poor Dave has been trying to get this plane down for how many days? Oh, is this rat filming what, Wednesday last week? Yeah, it's almost a week. Yeah, tomorrow will be a week, it's been up there. And the only thing we're after is the air unit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I just spent a lot of time mounting these to the bottom of the nacelles on the Megalacy to launch our Flurkins from. Unfortunately, I failed to uh, remember that there's a wing strut on the Megalacy that goes right through here. So when the Flurkins mounted underneath the wing, the wing of the Flurkin hits the strut of the Megalacy. So I have to take these back apart, move the mounts all the way to the back of the nacelle, and then we'll have just enough room. So live and learn. <laughs> That looks so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it almost looks like uh, missiles or something, like tomahawk missiles or something on the bottom <laughs> of the plane. <laughs> okay, so of course there will be a lot of wind blowing over it because of the prop being right in front. So we're gonna undo it here. Let's see if it slides back. Oh, perfect. Oops. <laughs> oh. So but it works. Yeah, it, it works. Works good. I'm very happy. So what's the next steps? Um, actually, uh, I think your dad has to program an aura for Stefan. We're ready to fly. Awesome. Okay, um, we're going for a last hurrah here. Um, Wes has a cinna whoop. We're gonna try to uh, hopefully bash the plane out of the tree or get a string over it. I don't know, one or the other. We're gonna we're gonna see what we can do to get a string up to the plane at least. Yeah. <laughs> All right, you're gonna want to put a ton of string out immediately because. Uh. <laughs> you know when you're ready? I'm just gonna put it right over the flurkin. Yep. Let's that second. Oh, there's a nice little branch just barely in the way. It fell! Oh no, it got caught! Oh, it's falling! Yeah! We got it! We <laughs> got in more pieces! Now, will your quad come down? Give it a yank. Give it a yank and then let it go. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> hey, unplug this for safety. <laughs> 
Oh, it's working! Yay! Yay. <laughs> Is it clear? Yeah, yeah, no fogginess or anything. Told you to be okay. <laughs> So the location that we're gonna be keeping these big monsters is thanks to our good partner, and that's Pilot Institute. They're the ones that made Pilot Institute hangar a possibility. Behind us is where our paint room's going. Upstairs is where the mezzanine and where our podcast and hangout area is. This lower area is our workshop, and also the storage place for our big monsters planes. We just gotta get out the door. All right, so we're set up here at EcoFlow Runway here. Uh, Steph is plugging in our EcoFlow. This is cool because although this has no electric run to it, the battery banks operate our runway lights, charge stations, even our, our lights for the uh, pavilion. So we're, we're all set here. We gotta get the Flurkins bound on this, get her pointing in the wind, take off. So anytime you get to a plane this size, you pre-flight it just like you would a normal aircraft and stuff. Technically, it's a really good practice even with small planes. Whenever you get this big, Checking your uh, servos, checking your you know wing fittings, checking your bolts to attach things—all critical. So behind me, capturing this FPV, we have my youngest son Mike, and also Wes. It uh, goes by Blue Jay as well, chasing after us. All right, I'm a little nervous, guys. You ready? Yep. Let's I'm, right. I'm nervous as well. Right, left, up, down. All right, here we go, guys. You guys want to pop in the air? You good? You're good. Here we go, buddy. Get in the air! Our, my oh. prop is spinning right now oh. because of the air. It doesn't even care. I guess it clears. <laughs> Look at that. It does not wow. even care. Oh, that's all. Awesome. All right, my goggles are down. Oh, that is crazy looking with that prop spinning. Yeah, that prop is, is <laughs> it actually is kind of scary because, it actually is kind of scary Let because of that. Let us know when you want us to drop. Josh. I'm gonna take you nice he's, and he's high. He's gonna give us nice and high. Hey, this looks sweet, by the way. I can see the tip of the nose of the plane. Is That's anything sweet. rocking or rolling or anything? No, today? it's steady and smooth. Yeah, on we're, side. we're we're golden right now. I'm not I'm not moving at all. See the runway down there. Yeah, Hello, the runway. What do you guys say? I do one more turn and then I drop you. I'm good with that. Sounds good to me, sir. Signals nice and clear. Yep, Perfect. I got no I got no problems. All right, I'm gonna line up right into the wind here. Get right down the runway. All right, Wes, you good? Count down in five, four, three, two. One, release the fire! Okay. Hey! Hey! There's two! Oh, oh yes! Oh my gosh, our first successful drop! Yes! Oh, this is sweet. Oh, wow. What is going on? Are you flying? I am I flying. Fly. Where are you? I, I'm in like, I feel like I'm at zero throttle at the moment. <laughs> we are up there. Wow. All right, well, come find your, uh, what do they call this? Chicks and toes, I think what Colonel Vaughn always said. Wow. Oh, I see a megalosine. Come flying oh, yeah, and get behind me. You see I'm me? behind you, Josh. Awesome. Ooh, I'm a lot faster than you, holy cow. Oh, yeah. oh, there you are, I see you. I can speed up for you. I see you. Yes. This is weird. Remember, the one thing we do well with the Megla C is go slow. I lost you, I gotta find you again. I flew <laughs> past you, there you are. I'm not going anywhere. I've been over the runway for five minutes. <laughs> I'm I'm trying to get to you, but like I don't want to pass you, but I don't know how okay. fast I'm going Come because I'm so high. <laughs> It is, a, it is a very menacing look to see a plane this big flying up on it, huh? Ooh, I'll, I'll try to go out. faster for you guys. Here you go. I'm gonna fall over. It's been a long time. <laughs> uh, actually, you're going at a pretty good speed, Josh. All right, cool. All right, there we go. I just had to find my my, my pace, huh? Oh, there you are. Yes, I'm, come I'm in. I'm coming up Hello. on Hello. Right. Come to me, my friends. Okay, I'll go on his left side. I'm down low. Oh, man. <laughs> this, this looks oh, so that sick. Is crazy. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> From my perspective, it looks ah. amazing. Whoa, there's a lot of wash behind you. Yes, there is. We found out that Whoa. was a little late. Oh, I, I almost hit him. <laughs> it's okay. I think I'll fare better than you guys, though. <laughs> Look how cool that looks, guys. Oh, dude, this is sweet. Oh, wow. So imagine when we do the 20 foot B 17, and these are, you know, measure smiths and BFs and stuff chasing after shooting. Oh yeah, there's the prop watch. I feel it. Yeah, you get, you get about 20 feet away from him. Yeah, I do. I feel like I'm. I feel like I'm still like yeah. 60 feet away from him. Well, we did Whoa. a previous episode with this, and I was trying to do a touch and go. It just got so aggressive. It just blew me all around. Look how you got this big doppy airplane, and then you got these alien-looking ships behind it. Oh, hey, there you, you are. I see you guys. You guys want to do a little pass? Whoa, 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 whoa! whoa. Oh, jeez, let him go. Let him go. Oh, that made me dizzy. <laughs> All right, low pass time, guys. Whoa. Oh, okay, I, I fell back. <laughs> 
You guys. Whoa! I think I almost hit a quad. All right, here we go. You just, you just can't appreciate the size of this thing. Wow! Oh, that was awesome! <laughs> that was awesome! I love this! Everything is awesome! What a beautiful day! Oh, the golden hour, man. Unbelievable. Oh, oh it's my beautiful. goodness. Okay, this is gonna be a rigorous thing. We're gonna be launching flurkins now. We're, let's just leave the mounts on it, okay? Yes, yeah. By the way, I don't know how I look on camera because I feel like my head is going back and forth like a crazy person. I, I know mine is. Well, I just went past him again. <laughs> oh, dude, Josh, this is so cool. I'm like right looks, above you. It looks like the same visual you see when you see an ultralight coming in. I feel like I'm looking the wrong direction at this point. Oh. All right, guys. I'm not one to push oh. it. Let's go ahead and bring her in for a landing, okay? All right. <laughs> this is sweet. Oh, man, this is crazy. So I think now that I have you unhooked, I'm going to drop flaps when it comes time to land this. Yeah, yeah, there's no problem with that. Yeah, let let, us, let me know, because that'll slow you down quite a bit, yeah? Yeah. All right, we got... Oh. All right, we're going to land, guys. Here All we right. go. I'm gonna drop a notch of flaps here. Josh is just touching the wrong way now. Gotcha. There it is! <laughs> all right, I'm coming around to land too. All right. I am as well. Let's see if we can get all of them up and all of them down in one piece. I just wanted to go, I wanted to follow Josh down the runway. Stefan, it is, <laughs> it is so awesome to see you flying FPV, Stefan. Oh, this is sweet. Look at you go! There you go. Dude, right on the runway! That's Good me. job! Oh, that's you. Okay, that's Stefan's coming in. Oh, James. I'll hook you later, David. Oh, you got this. <laughs> there it is! Oh, look at that. That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Let's go! Awesome job. Woo! Well done, dude. This is the first, guys. Oh, We've never dropped two planes from one plane. Oh, man. That, it worked out perfect. Absolutely. My I knees are shaking. That's all I got to say. A little bit when we, when we released, I had to hit my ailerons in it. And it wiggled off. off. Yeah. Oh, man. Perfect. What was it like oh, getting towed up? It was actually really cool because like all you saw was the prop like spin in front yeah. of you and you could see the, like the the sun in the background. It was actually kind of just I felt like I was just sitting there yeah. like it was, in, it was in, like in the plane. Relief of pressure and just enjoying the view. Yeah, awesome. <laughs> that means we gotta do it again. Yes. Now, friends, not everyone can build a 16 foot monstrous plane to take a flurkin, but what you can build is what these guys are flying. <laughs> the flurkins are now available on our store, and also look for future variants. We're not done with this design. Yeah. It's amazing. It's also incredibly versatile. We can't wait to unpack that. And Stefan. That's your plane now, man. Hey, not, that's not leaving your side. I, I'm gonna go and sleep with it every night right now. That's it. <laughs> Flirkins for the win. <laughs> awesome. They should be a part of the family, guys. Let's put another battery in. Let's do it. Take See care. You.